Hey guys, so welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Meantime and Tactics. Uh, last time we took the Suez Canal, as you can see here, we control all four areas that protect the Mediterranean from any incursion by additional British ships. Any ships in the Mediterranean right now, and we have a 76 to 89 in this area right here, another 76 to 88 here, 84 to 98, they're going to be in here, this sea zone. They cannot protect the UK against a possible invasion from us. Now that's going to be later, but uh, in the meantime, let's keep them controlled inside the Mediterranean. That's going to be working out fine, I think. Somebody suggested, why well, don't want to go ahead and take Valletta? Well, actually, Malta. Capital being Valletta here. They have an airbase here. Pretty important uh, location during the war, right? For the British uh, allies to have planes. However, if I to do that, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I need to hold, have control, naval-wise, of the Western Mediterranean Sea as well as the Central. And I don't think I can do that if I also want to make sure I stockpile enough fuel. Yeah, it's a fine line. I have no idea if it's going to work, but I kind of want to make sure I stockpile first. Right now it's saying 2.1 years from the oil refineries. And we know we're going to lose the oil sooner or later when the British or when the Americans join right or I imagine so anyway so I think I'll postpone that at least for now now we have the uh, pink army here they're protecting the coastline all these ports here are being protected but only the ports we have one more unit coming down going down to to work here and one unit here going over to Benghazi so that covers Libya nobody in Egypt uh, nobody in Egypt here Alexandria and Port Said might be a mistake but I'm thinking I can be okay because I have all these units here in the Red Army which by the way somebody else suggested or maybe the same person suggested that why don't I go ahead and give them some orders some battle plans that's gonna give us a bonus to uh, combat right probably a good idea let's go ahead and pick one of these here and send them over here and then we'll take these three and we'll make a front line here and then the remainder can be a uh, front line over here. I think that's a good idea. We'll have to see what the... Who are these here now? The Italians are attacking here. There are some uh, Dutch East Indies attacking out there. Not good. What are the Italians doing? These are... This is Vichy, France. Are they leaving this area? They really shouldn't do that. That's a bad idea. Hmm. So, Cyprus over here is also owned by... Uh, United Kingdom, and do they have an airfield here? Yes, they do, and they have a lot of planes there. If we took that as well, it would be a great idea, but maybe not. Mm. It's going to be tough to hold all that. Anyway, you can see here the Germans and the Italians are streaming down. Wow, and the uh, Vichy France troops there as well, streaming down to help us out, I guess. Attacking in here. We have three units here. Germans are actually uh, doing a naval maneuver here. Maybe... Oh, they are landing here in uh, Angola. Cannot be attacked, though, Angola, because uh, they're not part of the war. So that's fine. We have three units here. Let's send them into Cameroon here, part of Free France. And then eventually we'll go down and join up five units here. We'll see if we can do that. There's some Germans protecting in this as well. And we have two units here and two units there. Pretty good. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we're in good shape here. As far as the production of recruitment is concerned, waiting for that one armor division, reason I'm doing just the one is because I don't think I need too many. Well, I'm going to use them to attack England. Why do am I doing that? Well, looking at the uh, coastline here, there is a lot of planes here, right? Am I mistaken? No. So we should be able to get a good attack in here, right? Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. So I want to have a couple of those helping out, as well as the motorized. And I think I'm still producing one motorized division as well. But no more infantry at this point. We still have 150k in manpower. This here takes a while to produce uh, because we're missing the medium tanks, right? We get 75 out of 150 right now. I am producing them. Remember that? I switched last time, but we're not making, making very many. Let's actually check the logistics here, how we're doing. It looks like we're in the red for artillery too. We needed more of those. Why is that so poor? Oh, you only have one factory. Lots of infantry equipment. We want that. Hmm. Well, efficiency is going to go way down when we do that. 
Medium tank, I want quite a few. We still have quite a few light tank destroyers for our um, for the motorized division. Should I go reduce that? Maybe I will reduce. Or planes. You know, I have 164 fighters in reserve. They only level or first level fighters, right? Fighter one. Hmm. Yeah, I sh there's a lot of stuff to research here, right? But if I take one off there, or I take one off of the medium tank, we're gonna get a lot of medium tanks eventually here, right? We're making 1.59 per day right now. You know what? We're not up yet here. I'm gonna go ahead and reduce that just a little bit, and then we'll move up the artillery there instead. And hopefully that will help out. I think that will be fine. Motorized? We'll go with three. I think that's fine too. We'll go for four there. Okay. I think that's fine. 32 military factories. Dockyards? Yes. Did we actually say we were uh, constructing that? We are. Valencia, Catalonia, and Lyon. So you can see here where that is on the map. Doesn't really matter where. But if we get more dockyards, we can get more of those destroyers and cruisers we're going to be working on next. Cruiser effort. Remember that bonus, two-year uh, head penalty removed? Yeah, it's going to be fine. So I think I'm going to wait for this one unit to show up here. It's moving in. Actually, we can take it right now, I think, maybe. The independent states of Croatia declared war on Yugoslavia. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's take a look here first. Red Army. Let's create a front line. Left click on it. And now we have to, well, we set all of them. We're going to go ahead and change that in a second. I will create another front line here, and that moves, uh, there's nobody on there. So now what we can do is we can just highlight all of the ones that I want there, and we'll do, what is it? Uh, we do control click, five divisions there. So A, three here, and five there. I think that'll be fine. Oh, they, no, oh, they all moved away from there. We don't want to leave a gap like that, so hopefully they will rearrange their uh, pronto. We are practicing. Did I not remove these? Um, I did not. Okay. So, we have three of them here. I'm going to go ahead and portion them out then. We'll do that. Portion them out to the teal army. There, let's do that. And we won't take anybody across over to... Well, that's the... Hmm. This one is not practicing. Um, move them in there. Now, hmm... I'm wondering what I should do, because Alexandria here is unprotected, as well as Port Said. Not a good idea. We need a few more units, too. We don't want to have one per region, right? But it's... I mean, it's so far away. We do have one unit here, though. We could take this unit and send it across. I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be extremely dangerous, right? Why don't we just go across here and then travel land-wise? Let's see if we can make that happen. So we'll take him over here to Algier. This unit, can I not select them? Hang on one second. Okay, so here's my problem, right? I've been messing around with this for just a few, uh, well, for uh, in a minute here, but as you can see here, we don't have any ships at all on escort mission. So they're going to be sunk if they leave the Balearic Islands right now. If I take my, my subfleet out, then that would be helped out. Otherwise, they will be taken off out. I'm not going to do that yet. That's going to cost me too much fuel, right? Let's just continue here instead. So let's go down. Are they moving units? They're moving units here. Coming in here to uh, Benghazi. And we are rearranging these units now, I think, a little bit. So the front line is being moved by the Italians. We only have three units. Hmm, let's see what happens here, actually. And what do we get? Low manpower, 141k. We're looking at rid of that one. Unread naval battle, don't need that. Missing equipment production, oh, again. Naval bomber, we're going to do something about that. We're going to be uh, getting, we're going to research better ones, I think, right? Equipment production, uh, what are we saying? Naval, oh, that naval bomber. Um, we're at war. How's the war going now? Oh, a specific war. Oh, wait a minute. So, I don't know why we don't see the actual war here. We should, yeah, we're not in war with Angola, but we should see it here. I don't know why. Hmm. There, there it is. Okay, I was looking at the... Oh, the summer skin. Is this new? That might be new. There has been an update to uh, Hearts of Iron 4. German-Yugoslavian War. Oh, okay. So Slovakia here. Was it Slovakia who joined us? Yes, it was. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's take a look at that up here. 
Slovakia being up here. Yugoslavia and Slovakia. That's Slovakia right here. That's Croatia here, actually. So we're, I guess we're liberating. We're liberating Yugoslavia. Or liberating um, Slovakia. Croatia. That's Croatia. Was it Slovakia or Croatia? Hmm. I don't know now. Anyway, they're fighting here. We're not going to send any units up here. Yeah. They're definitely fighting up there. Let's go back down to... Egypt. So they're opening up a breach here. That's good. That's all fine. I wasn't really ready to do that just, just yet. But I guess if he does it, it's fine. We're following up. We're not going to be able to hold this line very well at all. In fact, what we could do is, we could just say, Italians, you worry about that. We hold this line here. Let's do that. Maybe If we take them here, and then assign them here, right? So now we're going to have 8 there instead. We're not going to have anything here. Remove that front line. There. We'll see what happens. The Germans might just be... Uh, I mean, not the Germans. The Italians might be overrun. We'll see. And uh, Poland's joint... Okay. That's right. Croatian. Oh, it's the Croatian. Yeah, it's the Croatian-British war. Not Slovakian. No, I don't know what I was thinking. Not Slovakian. Now, obviously, Slovakia is... Uh, you know, but the part that was left from Czechoslovakia, which is nowhere near Yugoslavia here. Well, I shouldn't say nowhere near, but it's not that close anyway. I was thinking maybe of Slovenia. Anyway, that's my excuse. So, let's see here. We're moving in. Dutch in East Indies, Luxembourg, yeah, okay. Okay, moving in. We're going to hold this here line. I think that's going to be no problem at all. Yep. And we did finish the direct ground support let's look at that so now we get 20 percent in ground support that would be for um, um our planes right yeah excellent so that is down here great we have a lot of ground support planes right we have something like 300 more, i think now we do have 100 percent left here we can do oh uh, no wait a minute that's experience if we want to do that hmm i don't think i want to do that but we have one slot now to pick what do we do with it? Now, we got to be careful, right? The plan is to get this taken care of here. We want to get a destroyer hull or a cruiser hull. Right now, we're doing a cruiser effort. If I were to... Yes, I need to be researching cruisers right now. Because I don't want to use up my 100% until I get to here, right? So let's do a cruiser right now. 114 days. That's fine. And then when this comes into play, we switch to Destroyer here. And when we get another slot in research, we'll do a Destroyer there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Naval Raider Defeat. Hmm. What are we doing on our convoys? 87. Wait a minute. Army is taking up a lot. And air. That's right, because we are attacking here. Ah, that's unfortunate. Remember that oil's gonna go away. We're not gonna get much. I don't think we can get anything after this is all said and done. Unless there is oil, and I don't really know where oil would be. We can get through land transport, basically. Um, Croatian British War. Okay. They're attacking in there. They're not gonna be able to make it. I don't think so. Moving over there. Yeah, that's fine. We can hold this here. The Italians are coming over, taking that. Okay, that's fair. We hold this. You hold that. We'll take the western shore, you take the eastern shore. Now, there are a couple of British units here. How good are they? They're attacking. Look at our defense. Defense is pretty good here with our infantry and our motorized. Again, look at that number. We are defending, so we will lose 50% less organization and take 50% less damage. Not bad. 54 planes coming to help. Where are they stationed again? Is it here? We have what? Uh, yep, we have close air support there, 150. Good. That's 150 is making a big difference there. What can we actually... How many can we actually put into play here? Um, we can have 54. And we have 54. Okay, good. So they're going to keep attacking here. They're going to waste their... Oh, look at that. He has very poor organization. They're going to waste their resources on this. There is an infantry brigade there. Hmm. Okay, so I could attack now down here, I think. Two units, three units could attack down here. 
In fact, we should give them orders to actually perform an action here, shouldn't we? Uh, we should tell them we should uh, plan for a mm, offensive war here, right? Uh, offensive line. Something like taking this over here. Maybe something like that. Let's do that. And what do we get out of that then? Right now it's saying uh, plan value is 4.9. Enemy is inferior. Quite a bit there, but we are not yet in position. That's fine. Okay, we'll go for that. We'll say that's a good plan. And I think the Italians are doing good. They're pushing ahead here. You can do the dirty work over here. Take all of this here. And then Baghdad is Iraq. Turkey, we're going to be taking all of this, aren't we? Going down here, we have the rest of Africa. The Italians might want to attack before we do, actually. It's possible. Coming into position here. Okay, good. Uh, that's looking good. So we're going to gain some um, points here. Estimated plan value minus 22. We're going to be in... He's inferior. Look at that. Look at these numbers here, by the way. I want to show this. It was um, inferior enemy, 45%. I think it's because they're gaining some of that organization back. But we did get a computing machine. So that would be 5% research. Love it. That is a great thing to get. Now, what do we get next? 1940. Has to do with naval, this one here. I don't know. I mean, hmm. I'm thinking naval the whole time, right? Because we've got to make sure we get that. We're working on the cruiser hull over here. I could go for destroyer hull now, just so I have it, so it's ready. So anything we get next, it's not going to be used up against the, you know, the wrong hull, right? Uh, I think I'm thinking right about that. Let's go ahead and get that destroyer hull now. Yeah, let's do that. So two of them going in there. In 25 days, we'll get the next one. Planes in reserve. What do we have? 1,600 planes. No, we can have 1,600 there. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go back out and see what happens here. Italians are pushing ahead. Attacking up here in Tel Aviv, Israel. No divisions. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have, still have a... It looks like I still have something there. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Good. We're just holding this line here. That's fine. And we'll see what the Italians do. They might attack. Right now we are sitting at... Uh, what is it? 20% now. Risky. Division still preparing. Yeah, we don't have that many units, right? It's it's kind of weak. I wish we had more. I should have moved more over before I did anything else because this number here, I'm not liking it. Are we making... Are we actually producing... No, we are not creating any more refineries. Refineries take a long time, right? A long time to add up to anything, really, right? So right here, daily gain 667, the vast majority from the oil. Refineries 158, not terrible. But we're not going to be able to maintain any kind of uh, fleet with that. So maybe next up. Well, I was going to say, next up, more refineries. Mm, what about the dockyards? We're going to be ready to build more, right? Right now we have 8. We're going to have 11. I want more of everything, obviously, right? If we were to put more dockyards in, we could do it. How long does it take for these dockyards to be uh, come, uh, available here? May. Not very long, actually. May. And June. I think I want more of the dockyards there, right? Don't we? We do want more dockyards. So we want to go for regions that has a high infrastructure already. 70%, that's 90 here. And we can do more here. We can do more here too, Catalonia. We'll do that. So when it's ready here, we'll put another one in and another one. And one more refinery. You know what? That reminds me. We could do more fuel refining. We have level 1 now. 10%. Put one there. Um, so 10% right now. Are we getting another one? We are getting... No. Yeah, that's oil processing over here. This one. So fuel gain from refiners. This is what's going to save us, isn't it? Uh, remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is very, very good number. We could go down this one here too, couldn't we? You know, let's see what happens with that. Remember this number here. Uh, 158. We'll see what happens once we get further along that path, right? Okay, we're still holding tight here. And I'm not sure if I should attack or not, right? The British are standing, staying put here. The Italians are moving around. They're taking yeah, almost all of it here. This is going to be it for the British, right? 
Yeah, I think so. This is the last armor they have. Here we have a, well, probably a very uh, poorly organized unit of the British, or of the, what is it, Dutch East Indies? Yeah, it is. Right, so they're going to take all of that and give it to the uh, Vichy France. So we only have to worry about this area. That means we could execute this order if they get ready. Still, division still preparing. Large river crossing, yeah. Oh, large river crossing, that's right here. Yeah, that is a large river crossing. That's uh, definitely true, right? All right, um, so if I were to get more units across, I'm going to have to put my fleet to sea, right? Yeah, we don't we do not do that. We have uh, a couple of naval bombers here, right? And we do have a commander here, but that's all. The fleet here is purely Italian. How, how are they doing, the British here now? 84 to 91. The Italians mostly, I think, have 61 there, right? Looking at the left, look at the map down here is what I'm looking at, actually. Can't see a breakdown on that. If I had more naval bombers, I would feel better. Right? We wanted to improve that. So maybe after oil processing, we'll go for another naval bomber. I don't really know. This is the uh, first time, remember, that I played this game, really. So, hmm, we'll see. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy. Um, April 29th, 1940. Yeah, 29th. And we are controlling. We helped Italy take back. Libya and also then attack into England or uh, Egypt. Now over here, remember that? Vichy France owns uh, Norway. That is strange, but that's fine. Okay. Germany, yeah, they have all their units. They have the vast majority of their units down in Africa, I think, right? Still moving down units there. And what did we do here? Did we move our units? Where are the three units we had? They're right here. Well, let's go ahead and attack here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take, uh, we'll try to take him out here. Yeah, we are in good shape here now, I feel. Even if the Germans were to move out, right? They have a, uh, what is it, armored panzer division here? Yeah, it's looking good. We can probably attack through here, be Belgium, and, uh, take out everything here and meet up with the Italians. Actually, we're pretty close to meeting up here right now, aren't we? So we've taken another airfield. We took this airfield. Germany has planes there. We have a plane there, and we're not quite ready yet to attack, right? I'm going to go ahead and speed it up, and we'll see if we can get uh, some traction here. Speed 3, we'll go for speed 4. Yes, I know, I'm doing a little bit faster now than before. Uh, Yugoslavia and Croatia. That's Croatia, right? Yeah, Croatia. Isn't it Slovenia that's north of Croatia, and then, then Croatia? I think it is, anyway. Oh, we have a free dockyard. Wait a minute. That means we produced one. Yeah, we did. And we got a cruiser hull. Do we want to get more of those? Hmm. Now, these cruisers here, I believe in the game, you can upgrade your ships, can't you? I think you can. So even if we have these 1936, we can later on upgrade them to a different model that we're going to have, right? So I don't think it's bad to add more. We're getting subs as well. July here for the next one and June for the next one. Let's get these cruisers. They're light cruisers, right? This one's in light. We'll get a few light. Later on, we're going to produce good uh, heavy cruisers as well. That's going to be fine, I think. Okay, how are we doing? Are we are we ready here for the um, attack? We should see a big fat green check mark here. Yeah, we're not going to be, be able to attack it, are we? Estimated plan value zero. It's risky. We don't have enough units, right? There's nobody here, though. Uh, I think the the Germans are maybe moving down there. We'll see. There's one unit here. Yep. And we'll see what, uh, what we get out of that. I'm still afraid of shipping units across. Okay, the Germans are attacking down here. Should I give manual orders? I mean, I could do that. Maybe I will do that. So I don't know how good these are. This is a brigade. It's not very big. Not a division. This one can be surrounded pretty easily, and we have units on this side of the Nile, right? So when we attack, it's going to be fine. What's the plan here? Attacking in from this direction. We could give it a shot. We're going to use up a lot of fuel, though, too. 1.3 years there. But we're getting that tech pretty soon, right? Six days before we get that. Let's wait six days and see what we get. Right now we're making what? Um... 158, that's right. Are we attacking here? The Italians? 
Uh, I think we are attacking here. That's actually our planes. 49 coming in there. So doing mm, not doing great there. But we'll wait anyway. We could uh, help him out. But I think I want to wait and see what happens here in uh, just one more day. 158 is what we have. There it is. So oil processing is done. And we get 50% from that. I want to see. I'm curious now. 230. Not bad, right? That's really good. That makes me want to go down and get this, right? I'm just worried about the fact that when we do um, attack Britain, we're going to be running low on oil, as I said before. And we can safely do it. 1939. Get another one there. Hmm. Fuel gain per oil is good too, but this is the one we want, right? Because we're not going to have access to the... Yeah, we'll do another one. To the U.S. oil for very long. So ships, oil, trade interdiction, and integrated support. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... I think I'm going to go ahead and see if we can attack here now. We can just give the order. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 80%. Let's attack. Here's the line. Let's go ahead and uh, issue the order. And there we go. Let's see. Our uh, 150 planes might come in handy here. 60 planes here. We can have 60. Yep. And then over here, we can probably have 57. 57, yep. So we're going to do good damage here. He's level 2, Gaspar Gonzalez, as well as over here then, yep. It's looking pretty good. And look at that. Again, the motorized position worked out really well. Even for attacking, it's going to be very helpful, right? So the Germans are helping out too, obviously. We're down here. I don't see us attacking. I guess we're just uh, relaxing a little bit here here. We could take them out here, go down and cut them off. I'll let them handle it, though. We'll see how the AI does here. Yeah, now he's attacking there. So the, the AI is going to do a okay job, probably, in a situation like this. We only have a few British units. Pushing down south on the Nile. May 22nd, 1940. And what is happening elsewhere? Germany's over here. There's nothing going on here, right? Eastern Front. Well, the, the Soviets are amassing. We might have to go and help Germany. I don't know. And I cannot remember my date. How everything worked out. But we're early now. I mean, Germany was not slated to attack anyway. They're working their way down. That's right. Uh, Croatia here and attacking uh, Yugoslavia. That's fine. Yeah, keep doing that. And Vichy France has now taken over almost all of this area right here. Israel over here. Egypt belongs to the Italians. How's it going for our friends, uh, the Japanese over here? It's looking good. They're pushing westward, right? China has not yet surrendered. And down here, how are we doing? We're sitting with three oh. units here. Um, yeah, we have three front. here. And they're... Okay, yeah. Organization is kind of poor, right? Were we attacking here? I bet we were, and then now they have to give up. Let's just hold this for now. And I think supply probably is okay. Yeah, we need uh, 0.72. No problem there. Okay, heading back up north. Egypt, and I am curious about my plan with all the, you know, heavy cruisers and stuff like that. Okay, we're almost taking it. We're almost done here. They're backing off. There's one more set to take here, basically. We'll see if we can take that. And then we're going to mark out another plan. Continue down, right? Are they moving over there? They're not yet, anyway. Kind of waiting for the AI to see what he does. The Italians are moving on, so... I think we'll just continue down, but maybe not with everybody, right? Because we want to make sure we hold Alexandria and Port Said. We can let the Germans do that. Why not? Cruiser effort is done. So we get a 100% bonus and a two years ahead penalty reduction basically and that means I'm gonna go for the destroyer effort I think right so let's me double check here now once we get the cruiser here we're gonna get a bonus here I think right for the next one yeah right here we have a hundred percent I don't want to do that once this is done we're gonna see hundred percent there I think anyway that is um, I think that's all for today guys I'll come back next time we'll continue pushing down and executing the plan here against Britain We'll see how it goes. I'll see you then, I guess.